Welcome to Sako's Tech Tips. I'm going to be giving you tech tips. Welcome to Sako's Tech Spot. We're going to take a look at power supplies or chargers and what to look out for when you're purchasing one. We'll be taking a look at their voltages and current ratings and see how they affect the charging speed. I'll be using my Nexus 6 with five different power supplies as shown on the chart here. One for a Raspberry Pi, an Apple one that came with an iPad 3, a Samsung that came with a Galaxy S4, a Motorola with quick charge, and a Romos battery pack that was made with a Samsung battery. I'm only saying that because it's a little better quality. The first one we're going to be taking a look at is the Raspberry Pi power supply that comes with the starter kit from the Model B+. I'm using this to represent a basic charger you would buy off the shelf, a non-name brand, something that's usually around 1 amp, 5 volts. I'm using an app called Ampere to check the charging rate. You can see the battery's current voltage and the maximum rate that the charger outputs. You can also see where it says max USB current, which is what the phone thinks the max output of the charger is, but we'll see that's not always true. The phone thinks that the charger is rated at 500 milliamps, although the charger itself says 1 amp. That's because the power supply isn't 100% efficient, and rarely will you ever see a charger perform at its rated output. So right here you can see we're getting about 340 milliamps, which isn't that great, but once again this is for a Raspberry Pi, it's not really meant to charge that fast, much like many of the ones you'll buy off the shelf. Next one we're looking at is the Apple charger that came with an iPad 3rd gen rated at 1 amp 5 volts on the dot. This being an Apple product, I expected good results and I was not disappointed. Apple's known for their high quality products and this isn't any different. I chose this charger to show that although it's rated practically the same as the Raspberry Pi minus the 1 volt, 0.1 volt on the Pi charger, it's able to outperform it because of the quality of the components and potentially the design of the circuit itself. Now over here you can see that it's already registering the max USB current at 1500 milliamps or 1.5 amps, which is already 0.5 amps above what it's rated at. Right now we're hitting about 990 milliamps, which is close to that one amp rating that it was originally rated at. Apple, good on you for that one. Next up we got the Samsung charger that came with the Galaxy S4. This one's rated higher at 5.3 volts, 2 amps. It's designed to output more power, obviously resulting in faster charging. Whether it's good for the battery or not, it's up for debate, but seeing how these phones are replaced every other year or so, it shouldn't really matter unless you plan on keeping them forever. The video cuts out here because it seemed like having the phone chilling was kind of useless. Please disregard. Let's pretend it never happened. As you can see, the higher rating on this charger is producing a lot more power than the previous chargers. We're not getting the 2 amps as promised, but we're getting a decent charge out of this one anyway. So we're starting out with 690 and it's just climbing up. I fast forwarded here to show uh, what happens about after a minute of it charging and you can see it's going up way past the 1 amp rating and we're hitting 1.2 close to 1.3 territory but yeah, it doesn't really go any higher than that kind of just gets stuck around 1200 not bad not bad at all next one is the Motorola charger that came with the Nexus 6 and is capable of quick charge the power supply says it's capable of turbo 1 and turbo 2 I can't confirm but I think it represents quick charge 1.0 and 2.0 you can see their respective voltages and current ratings and keep in mind your phone does need to support quick charge or else you're going to be getting the standard output which still isn't bad once it's plugged in, the charger gives us the standard output. Then it realizes we got quick charge capabilities and it shoots up well past the 2200 milliamps. You can see the higher voltage from the charger is causing my battery voltage to go a little higher in comparison to the previous chargers. Once again, maybe not ideal for your battery, but well worth it. Last one is the Romos battery pack. Expectations shouldn't be too high because it's hella basic at 5 volts, 1 amp. I'll have links in the description for a few battery packs I recommend that are way better and even have quick charge. Sometimes you'll see a battery pack with multiple USB ports and a single rating. Unless specified, that rating is combining the total output of the charger, not the output per USB port. What I mean is that, if it's rated at 5 volts 2 amps, each port is only getting 5 volts 1 amp, unless stated otherwise. Keep that in mind. This charger is giving us a max of over an amp, which is short lived, and then it plateaus to around 600 milliamps, which is about right. The battery pack is fully charged, by the way. But there you go, I hope this video helps you pick out your next charger. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, I'll try to help you out. Once again, links in the description to check out a couple battery packs that I recommend. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!